Junior Senior. G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today is the release of the SCS version of the W900. Now this is a legit DLC guys, you can get this if you update your version of American Truck Simulator. So let's have a quick look around. Wow, this looks really nice. Now we have also got the... Um, also, this week, we've got another W900. So this is going to be battling against the other W900 that is um, available. Uh, it's a mod, but it's also available. Now, uh, we saw before that Creechbum made some good sounds with that. Creechbum has also made some cool sounds for this as well. So we might take a look at that. So let's go have a look at customized configuration and see what we've got. So this comes with, let's see, the day cab, the studio sleeper, and yes, you have to upgrade the truck, different chassis, and the aero cab, so that just adds a little wing on the top there, and you know, uh, it looks all cool in that, but you know, I think I like that better. Is it actually, oh yeah, it just adds a wing, a spoiler on the top, that's all, so it is this with the actual wing on the top, but um... Um, I don't know. I think I like that better, but that one there serves a better purpose because, yeah, I think, yeah, I'm going to try that one today. Anyway, uh, <laughs> take me ages to choose. It really does with this truck. Now, I'm going to upgrade it to the 300 gallons. Now, you note that the it changes down here. When you go the actual 220 gallon and the 300 gallon, it changes there. So, you see the step there is different. And thank you very much to Ease54 for pointing that out to me. Um, one thing I just wanted to have a quick look at. Yeah, let's go and change that back. Does it change? Yes, it does. It also changes for the 150 gallon and the 200 gallon as well. So that makes a big difference. There we go. But we're going to pop that one back on. Thank you. And then we'll make sure we have that on there. Why not? Let's do that. And then for the engines, let's see, as standard. Now, this is without any mods in anything. This is basically what you get. So you get the Cummins ISX, the uh, ISX-12 with 370, the uh, PACR MX-13 455, and the, uh, the rest Cummins uh, 500 horsepower, 600 horsepower, and the Caterpillar 625. Okay, so um, if you want some of these other top engines, you really have to get past level 23, I think it is. To get them so let's leave it on the Cummins ISX first and see what that sounds like now here is the Eaton Fuller uh, the gearboxes sorry here we have the Eaton Fuller 10 speed 13 speed 10 speed with retarder 18 speed we have the Allison 6 speed and uh, Eaton Fuller 13 speed with retarder 18 speed with retarder and Allison 6 speed with retarder um, just going to leave it on the Eaton, Eaton Fuller 10 speed Nah, hell, who am I kidding? I'm going the 18 speed, thank you very much. Uh, then we go for the dash. This is the interior here, and it looks uh, looks very nice. Uh, very nice indeed. However, if you have a look down here, it is a little bit jaggedy there. Little bits of jaggedy bits. Um, the dash itself looks very nice, looks very smooth. Um, now, if we go to the classic interior, that's the modern interior. Here's the classic interior. Um, this it has wood grain in there, so that looks really cool. However, however, you can't change the steering wheel. Oh, what a bummer! Considering I love that wood grain steering wheel that you can get, I think it's oh so classy, really good. Uh, maybe in the future they might add something. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, probably not though. Now let's have a look at the actual the paint jobs. Now, the standard paint jobs you get is lapis blue, lily white, satin grey, wine red, creamy orange, which looks like somebody just spewed all over the truck. I do not like that at all. That looks terrible. Uh, crimson red, graphite black, custom colour, which you can go any colour you want in the world. There we go. Pink, if you really want to go pink W900, then you can go a pink W900. Good on you for that. Uh, then we have metallic blue. We have metallic cyan, which I don't like. I think it looks terrible. Uh, we have custom colors. Now, be wary when you're selecting your custom colors that you make sure you choose 
you look at it closely because it does have there we go you can see it clearly now uh, it does have all three is working so that's great as it should be and you would expect nothing less I don't even know why I bothered to test it to be honest uh, this is the um, this is a very very nice color this one um, it's very interesting what you can do you can change that there uh, which I thought was very interesting uh, you can make that there like that change that to whatever you want which is pretty damn cool if you ask me and that one there you can change as well uh, that's pretty cool I thought um, then we have this one here which you can also change any of the colors here to whatever you want quickly flipping through changing the colors which is that's very 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 cool very nice indeed there we go um, there's this rainbow one which I think looks like somebody spewed on the truck or, or something like that I don't know um, I think it looks like a hippie hippie mobile so let's make it look like a hippie mobile hey look at me I'm a hippie um, bright bright orange they had lots of bright colors back then didn't they let's put a green in there uh, yeah there we go oh th that that's probably better there we go look looks like a hippie truck hey I'm a hippie driving down the road oh peace man <laughs> um, then we have vintage red vintage red which you can also change any of the colors I'm not gonna go through it but anyway it takes ages uh, there's flames um, the only thing that I don't like about these flames is that there's too many flames they got one set of flames there one set of flames there and one set of flames there uh, flames that I like, I like either a set there or you start another set going in the back there. Not in the, I'm not too keen on the middle there, but anyway, uh, some people would like it. That's just my personal opinion. Then you get sunset, you, which is pretty damn cool. That looks really, really cool. That does. I like how it's got the stripes going around there. That's great. Snake, uh, if you like your snakes, then you, there you go. Does it have anything on the back? I didn't check that. Oh, yeah, the sunset one does. Flames doesn't that one does rainbow does that one doesn't so yeah there you go that's really nice on the back there uh, then we've got cowboys oh my goodness look at that that is so cool oh that is awesome and then riding into the sunset oh, brilliant and then we have there what's that that is independent oh that's a you know like the yeah the independence them sailing in there or whatever uh, not an American, so you'll know. Americans will know more about that than I will, and probably uh, that's fine. You can tell me all about it in the description below. That that's fine, not a problem. I've got it all wrong, so I'm not going to start. Uh, then we have here that looks like a metallic. Good old Uncle Sam. Let's check that one out. Ah, oh, black. Hang on, let's go black. Does black look good? Um, yeah. I think it's not really uh, oh yeah it is metallic there we go that's nice that's nice indeed I think that um, this one would probably be better in a red or a blue probably a blue and then there we go that's a better better sort of blue there and then change that to also there you can go uh, red, so red, white, and blue, I guess. So white, and then you can change uh, the next one here to be red. There you go. Red, white, and blue. Go crazy. American legend. There we go. Well, that is true. Uncle Sam is an American legend. Well, what to choose, what to choose. I think it's the Cowboys for me. Now, is that metallic? Let's, it looks like it is. Oh, jeez, look at that. Oh, my goodness. That is so cool. That is so cool. I love it. Make that a darker gray there. And then let's see. Make that dark speckles or white speckles. Make it white speckles. There we go. That is nice. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. What about black? See, this is the problem I have, guys. I can play around with this all day and it'd take me for an episode and a whole entire episode just mucking around with it. 
And really, I think it would t tick a lot of people off. Right, I'm going to leave it black. Oh, look at that. <gasps> look at that. The little speckles on there and everything. That is so cool. I love it. Oh, that's beautiful. Ah, oh, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Love it, guys. That is brilliant. Let's confirm that one. Lock that in, please. Now, uh, quickly go through the accessories here. You can have the bumper standard, bumper uh, modern, bumper shield, the firefly, and you can have the uh, quarter, is it quarterback? Quarterback bull bar. That's nice. That reminds me of a, a bull bar, you know, an Aussie, good old Aussie bull bar. So I'm going to put that one on. That's nice. And you get also there the metal fender guards. So that's pretty cool. Up here you get the uh, metal deflector, so the wind deflector. Here you can have your mirrors if you want your mirrors. So you don't run over those beauty little cars. That's what we want. We don't want to run over them. Um, now over to the air cleaner here. Yeah, air cleaner with light bars, so that's cool. Up here, now this I found uh, to be a real problem. I've already driven this today. Uh, drove it in uh, just for a bit of a drive this morning on the live stream. Uh, now, I had that on originally. I couldn't see out properly. It was just way too small. And if we quickly jump inside, you can see what I mean. It is just too small. Uh, too small a view. I like to see everything. And I found that one there to be much better. I could see everything there. And yeah, it really did make it a lot better for me. But look, it's entirely up to you what you choose. Um, I mean, people like the big one because it looks cool. Uh, I like to see out the window, to be honest. Here, you can go for the mirrors. You can go, the mirrors just Judy, and then there is the double. I like the double because it gives me that extra little bit to see those puny little cars. So, uh, there we go. Now, down here, you have lights. It. This is what I like. You get to choose. See, you can get your light rack thing. So you don't have to sit there and select which one you want on there. You just select a rack that's already got it on there. You know, and then, for example, you could put a third one there so you could select all the lights if you wanted or every second light. But I like this, how it's got that there, that there, and you can, you know, choose if you want. I like that one. That's, that is the one I like, and that's the one I'll choose. Now, uh, up the top here, you can choose your light rack at the top there, uh, which is pretty good. Cabin lights go all the way across, or you can have two on the outside, three in the middle. Uh, that's great. Now, um, these air horns up the top here do not work at this point in time. Um, I'm sad to say that is very disappointing for me. They don't work. Now, if you have one of the other cabs, you can choose. You have the, the mid sort of cab. You can choose to put lights on there as well, but you can't do that on this one. Yeah, it's fine. doesn't matter. Now, here is the exhaust. Uh, one thing I found, this is very nice and looks very good on the truck, but you can't see past it. When you turn your head around to look when you're reversing, you can't see past it. Your mirrors can't see past it. So um, that works better. I'll actually leave that on there to show you what it looks like. And also I'll leave that on as well to show you what it looks like. Um, but I did not like that on there. It was just... Uh, too, it was too out there. I couldn't see past it, so it's a bit of a pain. Uh, maybe somebody's got a solution for that. If the, you know, maybe there is a, a way you can do that. Now, uh, wheels. Before we forget, let's go and grab some wheels. So all of the standard wheels you get here, of course, you um, would not get anything else with this. So, um, Seagull exclusive. Yeah, I oh, look. I'm going to go the chrome standard for this one and then any of the standard tires you can add in here as well so let's just leave the standard ones on there spin it round spin it baby spin it so we can have a look at these other other rims any of the standard rims that you want in the game you can get in here so pretty cool I think uh, however I'm going to go the chrome standard and the same for the back there chrome standard seems to be my favorite one it does so now uh, let's see that is there that is there now on the back here you can actually change the mud flaps so you can go and change it to white if you like white uh, SCS mud flaps which is pretty cool or you can go the chrome mud flaps which has the Kenworth chrome emblem on there I like that me like it a lot so I like that a lot so I'll leave that one on there 
Um, that is pretty much it, folks, of what you can do. On the inside, at the moment, there's nothing. There's no accessories or, or whatever to do uh, in there. So you just have to grin and bear with what they have for the moment. Bear in mind, the game's only been out, what, two weeks almost? Almost two weeks, so pretty fresh and new. So you're going to get, uh, you know, you won't get a great deal at this time. Uh, good thing that we got the, the W900, which is great. So W900 hype, yay! Uh, now let's go and confirm that. Look at that. Doesn't it look beautiful? Oh, loving it. Let's do a trade on the last mod, and I'm doing this with great gusto. Let's get that going. Yes. Oh, right. Now, here is the outside. Look at the detail on that skin. That is awesome. I am really going to have to jump in and check this out to see how, you know, check the skin out. I really want to check it out, what size they did it, because I'm going to be making a VTC skin for the Junior Senior Transport VTC. And if you've not heard about that yet, check the link down below. There is... You can, um, if you want to join up the VTC, then uh, click that link and it'll take you to where you can go and join up. But that looks absolutely beautiful, guys. I'm going to jump on the outside and do what I do with all the mods and check it out. Oh, look at the bull bar on there. That is just absolutely beautiful. I, 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 I'm blown away. SCS, you've blown me away with this truck. You've made my day. You really have. I'm a happy man today. That's beautiful really is and of course if you don't like the cowboys that's fine there's plenty of other skins there to choose and look at that sparkle on that metallic ah oh, that does it for me it really does excuse me for a moment i just got to go have a quiet moment to myself that's all good i'm back <laughs> let's start her up and see what she sounds like wow well, um you know, that's nice and all. Now, a lot of people are going to tar and feather me for this, but um, I don't like it. I don't like these sounds, to be honest. SES, very nice try, but they're not as nice as what you can get. When you're driving along, to me, that sounds like a tractor. It sounds like I'm driving a tractor. It really does. Um... Now, let's check everything else. I mean, everything works in here, the lights, but look at that. That looks so gorgeous. Ah, oh, that looks brilliant. Um, there's the lights there. There's high beams, sorry. There we are. High beams are working good. Um, wiper animation works. If we get in close, we can see that. There we are. You can see that there. That's one speed. There's two speeds. And then turn it off. There we go. So, uh, that's great. Let's go on the inside. And here we are. This is what I mean by the actual uh, visor. Very hard to see. Very hard to see indeed. Now when you're turning around, you can't... I can lean out and that's as far as I can go. I cannot see past. I can't see the trailer back there. So that is a real bummer for me. Um, let's back it up. And I'm going to go take it over and see if we can get some different sounds out of the engines. Yeah, we're not going to run into anything. Okay. This is different to the T680 to drive. It is so much more comfortable to me. It really is. The, the 680 and the Peterbilt, I, I really wasn't comfortable at all in there. Um, but this is so much nicer. It's very good. Uh, now, over to the engines. Now, engines, let's choose a Packer and quickly jump out and we will check that out see if there's a difference there is a difference there is a difference and that's the sound of the packer let's test out the other engine that we had here and that was a cat was it a caterpillar c15 confirm and go around spin around here damn that looks good That's nice. That's really nice. Now, that's the standard sounds. Now, normally, now I don't normally do this, all right? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly jump out of my profile and during the middle of a 
a middle of a, a mod test, I'm going to add in Creech Bum sounds. So Creech Bum sounds, I'm going to add them in. Yes, confirm. And we're going to jump in there and test those out now. Alright, so pretty quick to load, pretty good. I like that. Now, get out and drive. Now, let's jump in and let's see what it adds in the engines now. We had a look before as a standard, but look at all the choices we have. Okay, that is tons of choices in there to choose. So, heaps. So, let's click on the cat. We heard the cat before. And let's go out and test that. That sounds like a cat to me. That's beautiful. Right, that is the cat. That is nice. I like that a lot better than... Uh, sorry, SCS. Look, I really do like your work, but when it comes to sounds from Creech Bum, no comparison. Really is none. Uh, the Cummins N14. This is a beauty. This is really a good engine to test out. I like this one. Spin it round. Listen to that. Listen to that purr. That's beautiful. Listen to that sound. Yeah, that sounds so much better to me. Oh yeah, that that's. Oh, 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 I'm I'm literally I'm literally drooling now. I really am. I, I'm just absolutely loving. It. I'm pushing the wrong buttons too. Like a kid in a candy store, I'm so excited. Come on, get in there. Let's test some more. Oh man, that is so much, so good. Uh, the Packard engines, let's test that. Yes, thank you. Packard. Even that, see that sounds so much better. That sounds like a Packard engine to me. See, that is, that's so that's awesome. It really, really is. Um, I'm pushing the wrong buttons again. Come on, get your act together. Uh, let's go back to the upgrade shop and engines again. What else we got? We've done the Cummins there. What other Cummins do we have? Any other Cummins? Yes, we do. We have done the Packard, done the Cummins. Uh, grab that one there. Confirm. Jump out. Let's see. See, that's different to the uh, N14 one. It's nice, but... No, that's very nice, that is. Very nice. But I think for me... What does it for me is the actual uh, N14 engines. So uh, we'll go and put that 614 in there. There was no other ones? No. There we go, confirm that. Oops, hang on, I wanted to do something quickly now. Uh, I wanted to go over here and I want to show you the visor. Now I put that visor on there and uh, no, no, that's not it there. Uh, the exhaust, thank you very much. Now, it doesn't look as nice, I don't think, but it, it you can see past it. And that's what, you know, it's got to have, got to be able to work properly. So here we go, let's test that engine again. That does it for me. Thank you. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hey, 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 hey. There we go. That, <laughs> that does it for me. Thank you very much. That's awesome. Oh, now look, turn around, lean out. You can see that you'll be able to see the trailer. See, not a problem. Out the window, I can see everything. So let's go take this for a drive. Whoops. That was me. I double clutched there and stuffed it up. And uh, here we go. I'm not hearing that noise when you're changing. There's a noise in the standard one that you hear when you're changing. And I was speaking to American Stick about this before, uh, about when I'm changing, I listen for a noise. And that's what I do when I'm playing. And that's, you notice that I, uh, he was saying that he noticed that I've been driving a lot better than what I have when I first started and the reason is because now I'm learning how to change properly just pull out there and we're gonna go down the road here 
and um, we'll just turn down here. I'm just listening to those sounds and we'll get this banana break going. Well, soon we will. Hang on, we may as well just get on the highway now. Come on, AI, let me in. Now, here we go. Oh, 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 I think I've messed myself. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's cool. I love it. I love it. Oh, my God. I'm having so much fun. I, is it a crime for me to have too much fun? I think it might be. I really think it might be. Hang on. Hill start. Alright, now, just trying to explore as much as I can in this dodgy profile that I have. Now, I have this on my proper profile already, guys. So, as I said before, I was playing it this morning on the live stream. There we go, there's that noise. Nah, it's not doing it all the time, though. So, anyway, it doesn't matter. But, um... Oh yeah, wake up everybody, here comes the mighty, the all-powerful legend himself, the W900. Oh yes, bow to the, the leader of the road, the king of the highway, the W900. Love it. <laughs> oh man, this is too much fun, it really is. I'm loving this, it drives so much different to the other trucks, and um, it really is... Um, it really is a lot better to drive for me anyway me personally really do like this a lot better but guys look it's not up to me uh, I've got two questions to ask you today do you want to see this in the weekly drive yes or no in the comments below and if you whoa 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 whoa, 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 whoa. hang on nearly stacked the truck then that would be a crime uh, get that in reverse I thought it was a double lane hey was that the cops I just hit? Bloody hell, I just dam damaged the uh, the W900. Naughty senior, naughty senior. Oh my God, that's horrible. Um, but look, if you would like to see this in the weekly drive, then you know what to do. In the comments below, say yes, I would like to see this in the weekly drive. If you don't want to see this in the weekly drive, then just put no, I don't want to see this in the weekly drive. However, the second part to this, if you want to see this in the weekly drive, and you can actually choose, do you want me to use Creech Bum sounds, or do you want me to use the standard sounds? That's up to you as well, so let me, let me know, if you put yes in there, let me know which sounds you want me to use, okay? So, um, that way it's really, you know, we can get some more sort of uh, interaction going with the channel, so, um, yeah. Guys, I'm loving this truck. I love it. I'm going to go have some more fun and drive this again. Let's take another view on the outside of this absolute beauty. Look at that. That is absolutely awesome. How can you not like this truck, guys? I really do like it. I love it. But it's, you know, we've got two W900s this week competing against each other. Which ones are going to be if you're going to choose a W900? Is it going to be this one or is it going to be the other custom one that we did? If you're not sure, then make sure you go to the channel and check it out. And by the way, guys, while I think about it, we've got a ton of American truck videos to watch. So if you're into American Truck Simulator, make sure you head on over there and check it out. If you're also into Euro Trucks, then make sure you check that out as well. We've got a ton of Euro Trucks. But that's pretty much it for me, guys. Look, keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down, and I'm 1010 on the side. And remember, game on! Thanks for watching YouTubers, if you'd like to see more videos, then click on the links beside. Just over here we're easter egg hunting in American Truck Simulator and this time it's Sabor's Market Game Store. Just down there in American Truck Simulator we're doing a mod review for the Aveco Strata. If you'd like to visit our website or you'd like to subscribe, then click on the links below. If you like this video then don't forget to share. Thanks again for watching YouTubers, and remember, game on!